What is up you beautiful people and welcome back to you with Rafiq. So today we are going to do a complete review of this electric sports bike. Yes, you heard me right. This is a electric sports bike. I'm going to do a detailed review of this bike. So let's get this video started. So the bike which you're seeing here is a sports electric bike. The bike name is Evoquest and the company manufacturers are Odessi and it is through Ohm Automotive in Hyderabad. So this is how the bike looks. See how big and magnificent this looks. Like you literally you won't believe me. Just let me have a seat. See. Let me turn it off. So let me have a seat and see you probably you can see this. This is huge. Heavy. Big. It's like comfort. I don't need to bend like this. I don't need to go like this. It's like comfort. It's proper seating. Okay. Now. Let's go with the technical specifications of this bike. Let's go with the technical specifications of this bike. This bike comes with a 3 kilowatt hour hub motor here for the rear wheel. The peak power of this hub motor is 4200 watt hour, which is 4.2 kilowatt hour. So it is for the rear wheel. Okay. And to the rear wheel, we even have a disc braking system. The disc brake is in the front up. You might be wondering where are the brakes in the down, but we won't have in there. We will have in the hand. So this was about the motor. When you come about a battery pack, we have a battery pack situated exactly over here in the center. Okay. It is a big battery pack, which is 72 volts, 4.32 kilowatt hour battery pack. And the charging time for this bike is six hours. Okay. Now you may be asking me, Rafiq, what is the torque which the bike produces? So the torque which this bike produces is 64 Nm. 64 Newton meters, this bike produces the torque. And it is a keyless entry. We can enter this bike with keyless. And the top speed we can go easily is 80 to 100. Yes, you can touch 80 to 100 in this bike and this bike comes with a range of 140 kilometers. That's claimed by the company and we all know that in city mode we can easily get it to 130 maximum. Now when you come more front, here you can see this dome. You may be wondering is it a plastic or metal? So this is a metal tank. Under this you have all the circuitry, the motor, controller, all the wiring is inside this one. Okay, and this body is a fiber. This is a hard fiber. To be real honest, because you can see it is very strong. Even if you fall, that won't break. That's that strong. Okay. Moving more forward, you have this handlebar. In the handlebar, we have to the right side the throttle as common. Up, we have a cool switch. Then we have for the light and for the horn switch. Then for here, we have the front brake. In the front brake, we have the braking fluid for this, for the front brake. Then moving to the left side, we have the rear brake, braking fluid. Then we have a dip, dipper switch. Then we have the light to turn it on for the high beam to the low beam. Then we have the indicators. Then we have the horn. Okay. Now to the left handlebar is where we have everything. Like the most important thing which you want to change from every mode is in the left handlebar. We have four modes for this bike. The important thing which you can control through the left handlebar. The first mode is sport mode. Okay. The next mode is drive mode. The third mode is parking mode and fourth mode is reverse mode guys yes this bike even comes with a reverse mode just think this bike is huge if you are stuck in a tight spot you can't pull it out right you can just sit on it and easily take it reverse i'll even show that to you you have every uh, you have a dial over here in the left side you can shift from drive mode to parking mode to sports mode to reverse mode any mode so in parking mode what happens is if you keep in a parking mode the bike stays idle it won't move okay that's one mode the next mode which is is a drive mode in drive mode, if you shift to drive mode, you can drive this bike easily. Like it will go very smoothly and you can touch a good speed and good range also. You can achieve nice range up to 130 to 130 plus kilometers with this bike in drive mode. When it goes to the sports mode, the pickup goes to the next level. Like it will go very smoothly and very quick. And the next mode, which is the reverse mode. As I mentioned, we can just turn on the reverse switch. We can just dial it there and Take a bike easily with reverse. So that's about the handlebar. When you move forward, you have a speedometer. It's both analog and digital speedometer where you can even see the range. You can see the speed in digital or you want to see the sp uh, speed in analog. You can see that too. Okay. Now moving forward, you have the stylish mirrors over here, which will be proper suited. When you sit here, you can see properly what's in behind you. Okay. To the left side or to the right side, you can see it very easily. Then moving more forward, you can see the front body of this. Like this body looks so clean and this bike gives a mean and aggressive look. Like just see how humongous this is. Can you even imagine an electric sports bike to look this good? Like 
like this is very big and this is very sporty if you if you want to go check out like uh, for a petrol bike like let's take an ic engine uh, ic engine sports bike if we get for this size that will have a big engine that uh, then you have to spend like way lot more but for this bike the ex showroom price for this bike is 1.6 lakh rupees that's it so for just 1.6 lakh rupees you can have this monster with you okay this bike as i mentioned comes with a 3 kilowatt r motor the hub motor for the rear wheel battery pack is a 72 volts 4.32 kilowatt which gives us a range of 140 kilometers and a speed of 80 to 100 easily like very easily now when moving more forward you can see dual disc for the front wheel like really it has two disc like here one and here one for the front wheel like whatsoever happen front wheel is very stable and for the rear wheel we have single disc this is about the bike the exterior of the bike very good looking bike we have led indicators for the rear and even for the front in the front we have this rear headlight just check out the eyes of this bike the eyes this nose it gives like so good this is the projector white led lights like projector leds and over here also we have a y symbol like led like good figure type into the head it's very good then moving forward you can see o automobile sticker because that's a company which is providing in our india so for the passenger and the pillion we have a footrest okay aluminum alloy footrest we have there for the driver and for the pillion too okay the pillion seat is good the cushioning better considerably and for the driver seat yes it's soft like you can see and most important thing guys you just missed it which is the suspension we have a mono shock over here which is very stable see it's very good like the suspension it's very good see it's exactly under our seat the mono shocks gives us a proper feel okay and the front we have normal suspension okay this is about the suspension so you saw everything right now the range the price the uh, motor specification the charging time and you may be asking rafik charging time is okay but where is the charging spot like where should i plug it and how should i plug it ha, you got me see the charging spot is over here there's a flap over here okay this flap is like see it's like this with a spring it closes automatically once you remove the plug okay so here is a charging spot you just need to plug it and charge it very easy like no one can identify it in the first glance if you just look at it you can't find a charging spot but it's over there okay so now i'll show you how this bike works okay so let's let me sit see this is how you sit on the bike properly we have a key over here we have this key to go with the key and this is a wireless key system even if you have this part only you can take this bike you don't need the key okay you can go enter wirelessly with this on this bike so just you have four switches on this okay i'll have a close up look for you guys the first switch says to all lock the bike the bike is locked you can hear the sound the second switch is to unlock it if i click it it beeps twice which means it's unlocked the third switch is to on it to turn this bike on we need to press the third switch if i click the third switch once and twice you hear the sound it takes two clicks to turn on the bike okay and the fourth switch is a bell which means if you keep your uh, bike in a parking spot it's somewhere let's well, suppose we went to a movie and we parked it in a tight spot somewhere but we are not able to find it just click the switch the bike just beeps itself and you can find it very easily we can find this feature in the car right that's a feature here we have so and just keeping the key in the pocket for you guys you to see see kept it in the key pocket nothing turned on the kill switch okay from here from parking mode i shifted to drive mode okay to drive mode and in 3 2 keep my leg up you can see my leg is safe right 3 2 1 go let's see the sound let's see how it goes it glides very smoothly and this is a pickup you can see now i'm going very smoothly and fast braking this is it it goes very smoothly the launch system everything is very smooth of this bike you just saw me riding this in drive mode imagine what it is in sports mode the drive mode pickup was next level now let's go in sports mode turning it to sports mode just by dialing it down tick it's in sports mode okay you no need to press any switch simple now 1 2 3 see ya in sports mode 
it's going easily guys see i just touched 50 within the short span like within 100 meters within more than 100 like under 100 meters i could touch 50 like that's like a next level for the bike now let's go just see this let's see how smoothly it's going 50 now see it's easily going by check out the braking check out the braking brake it has disc braking which gives us very we can be very confident with it that it won't fall like we can break it very easily suspension see and for the seat perfect like to riding in a city even if you have traffic and everything we can go easily like we won't have a problem to like ah my back is hurting or anything because in most of the sports bike or we can see that the back hurts due to excessive riding and all but for this it's comfort like not that much of a stress it doesn't feel that stress on your body okay it doesn't give that now to turn this bike off click on the unlock button it's off okay see bike is off now to turn it on with a key if you have a key just insert it in a key switch and turn it the bike is on simple see it goes that's it okay yeah now now let's check out the reverse mode like Rafik reverse mode for this bike yes let's check out that let's go to the reverse mode i am to the reverse mode just by dialing it okay now three two one get ready to go back see i'm going in a speed in a reverse mode like literally i'm going in speed let me come forward for you guys to show it again reverse mode keeping my legs up almost while going trying first time three two one go it feels scary but yeah it's it's easy to take it reverse see like you can see i'm just coming it very easily like if you're seeing behind and just going back like this it's easy like you don't need to have a strain or anything on your legs to pull it like this and all it's simple now going back in sports mode go front braking easy braking no skid nothing easy braking in parking mode just turn it off and khatam it's done the bike won't move now you may ask me Rafiq what if the battery dries out like what if there is no percentage left like what if I can't ride it more like how even if I have to push it like will I have to take a lot of stress let me demonstrate that to you see you need to push see it's going easily not a problem see I'm, I'm here <laughs> you're seeing what you're seeing anti-braking system over here you're seeing anti-locking system over here this bike comes with a locking system see the bike won't move forward see it's moving forward see it's locking itself see i'm trying to push it it's pulling it back forward no can i take it reverse yes i have to take it back reverse and park it from wherever i take it see you can see this see see this bike comes with a lock feature like anti-theft feature which no one can take it see take out the key lock it it's lock now if you have to unlock unlock and open the bike is on now let me show you how to push it even if we push it we won't take a much of a strain see remove the stand stand done now pushing it smoothly it's going i'm i'm just beside it i'm not here like this like ah no i'm just here i'm just taking it very easily simply i'm just taking it to push it back see you know the bike is the bike weight is well maintained like it's equal like it distributes very good now let me take it more reverse for you see here i stand it and place it let's look how good i look behind beside this this is a huge bike so this is about the equius electric sports bike by odyssey company okay this is a next level like this is a good beast to say in electric sports bike you can't find a bike like this right now in india this is a perfect sports electric bike okay like this is good it's wonderful big battery pack check good motor check controls check the handling check like it's it fits all of the check marks if you if you check out all your check mark if you have a checklist it fits all of that okay so wrapping it up we have a 3 kilowatt hour hub motor rear wheel we have a 72 volt battery pack 4.3 4.32 watt hour battery pack in the center 
we have a controller under the tank i mean inside the tank i mean okay we have clear led projector lights we have a digital and analog display we have liquid liquid braking i mean the liquid fluent for the braking system we have quill switch we have four modes parking reverse drive and sport okay these are the four modes which we have two people can sit very easily the range is easily 140 kilometers so we can achieve 130 smoothly okay the top speed 80 to 100 close your eyes you can go easily 80 to 100 what more do we need when we are riding in a city with 80 100 that's wonderful with this bike handling is beautiful like you won't feel that strain in this because the seating position is wonderful so this was about the equus odyssey bike thank you so much for watching till here in the upcoming videos we are going to do a next level reviews of other cars other bikes and everything in detail if you want to know what is like what are what is a capacity what is a charge rate what is like if you want to know what is the theory of a battery pack how to build your own battery pack i made a complete playlist which will be coming up over here I made a complete play playlist explaining about a battery, in-depth theory. It's very easy, very simple. You even have notes in my website. You can just go check out the video. Under the video, you have the website link. You can check out the notes also for your further references. It's simple. You can learn it very easily. My only mission is that to spread about electric vehicles as much as I can. Okay, in a very simple and easy way. So, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.